All right, guys, today I'm going to introduce you to a product I think a lot of you are going to be excited about. Finally, I think um, there's a good quality, affordable lab microphone on the market. And here it is. This is the Aspen microphone. Uh, it's a lab microphone I've actually been using for several weeks. So if you look back at my videos when I am using audio, you'll often see uh, this lab mic on me. So it's something I've been using for a while, and I think it sounds great for the price. Um, just to kind of rewind and recap, there are some cheap microphones and some kind of higher end microphones, and we'll run through them really quickly here. I'm not going to do a sound test because a lot of this stuff is online. You guys can listen for yourself, do a lot of research. Um, these are some affordable microphones on the market, and then there's this one that I'm going to show you later on today. Um, first of all, here's an Asden microphone, and uh, if you look really closely, um, there's like a big rubber or foam ball here, and then this gigantic clip on the lav. Um, ironically, this one got some decent reviews on Amazon, but look at how large this clip is. Um, not very discreet when you put it on your talent. The clip also doesn't rotate, so it's not something that is going to be easy to uh, kind of move around and mount your lav in different positions. And then again, this foam doesn't come off. It's actually glued on there. So this got some good reviews on Amazon, fairly inexpensive, a mono lav mic. So it'll go to one channel, so you have to duplicate that in post. Um, but that's the Asden. The Olympus one, again, very large clip. It does rotate. Honestly, this one got some really good reviews, but I personally think it sounds um, pretty thin. And anyways, you, you guys could probably hear some of those samples. I'm not too happy about that. The Sony one actually got really good reviews, but this is the Sony stereo here. You can see how large that is this that is the capsule and um, this clip does not come off so if you're trying to use your lav in a discreet way where you tape it under your talent's clothing that's probably not going to work but it did get good reviews in the sound uh, the audio technica is one i've used quite a bit inexpensive microphone i think you can get them for about 30 dollars or so uh, i think it's gone up a little bit since but it's got this long cord here and that's great because you can run the cord all the way back to the camera and you don't have to deal with syncing audio in post, uh, but it is battery powered. And so if your battery is dead on location, you kind of run into a problem because these aren't common batteries they are more like watch batteries. And another thing is this microphone requires a lot of gain. So if you're using a recorder like a Zoom H1, you really got to boost up the gain, the input to 90 plus. And what that does is it introduces noise from the preamp of the Zoom H1. So the better microphones are the ones that require less input gain from your uh, recorders. So a decent option, super, super long cord, so you don't have to sync in post, does require batteries and a lot of gain. All right, a little bit on the higher end side uh, is the Rode Smart Lab. Really, really great lab microphone. Um, this is a TRRS connector. So what it does is it's designed to work with your iPhone and use your iPhone as a portable recorder. Now that can come in really, really handy. I've used uh, my iPhone quite a bit as a portable recorder. Uh, and this microphone here starts at $90. Now you can use this with a camera, so, or with a Zoom H1. Uh, so this $90 microphone, you would get an additional extension here. Um, I wanna say this is about 15 to $20. So together that's uh, about $110, I believe. And um, again, really great microphone, a little bit more on the higher end compared to some of these things. But if you're recording two people um, and you get two of these and you know, you're running about $220. So two microphones, a little bit more expensive on the road side. So anyways, let's go to the microphones that I'm talking about here. These are the uh, new Aspen mics, uh, lab microphones. Um, here it is here. There should be one mono and one uh, stereo with an iPhone adapter. So let's open these guys up. Start with this one. So very cool, little tin here. So if you're traveling, you just throw this uh, in your bag and you don't have to worry about your lab getting messed up. Got a warranty card, uh, five-year warranty. If you have any problems with your microphone, return it um, with the card, and then uh, they'll send you a new microphone. Pretty cool. 
This is the this is the mono actually. Um, let's go ahead and open up the other one because I want to play with the stereo one. Now the difference typically between a mono and a stereo microphone is the monos usually have less or require less input gain from a recorder. Um, but when you go to stereo, it'll send the signal to both your left and your right channel. You don't need to do any post duplication uh, or, or duplicate the audio in post, but um, sometimes it requires a little bit more gain. But stereo um, is still the better way to go. Once again, there's a QA checklist here and warranty. Um, so this is the stereo kit. This right here is the TRRS adapter that will allow this lab microphone to work with your uh, iPhone. All right, there you go. This is it. This should be um, around 50, 46 to 50 inch cord. So not too long, but long enough for you to wire up your talent comes with uh, two foam screens that you would use this to kind of uh, block out some of the wind noise. And uh, really, really uh, small clip here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is. It can rotate in every direction. It, you can remove the clip as well. So sometimes if you need to tape your lav down to your talent, shouldn't have been wearing black today, but. Um, if you have to tape your lav down to your talent, this head is very discreet as well. So it's very small uh, compared to something like the Sony here. All right, let's put the clip back on. So this lav mic and the stereo lav mic will work directly with your camera or with your Zoom uh, H1 recorders or any portable recorder. And then using this adapter here, you can actually use your iPhone as a portable audio recorder. Now there are a ton of portable, uh, uh, sorry, ton of apps, sound recording apps for the iPhone. Um, some that can allow you to manually control levels. Uh, even the Rode Rec app is a really great one. And this will work seamlessly with the, uh, those apps. So you just plug this into the mic cable, mic end. There's also a headphone jack. So that's another thing that I think is a little bit different when using something like the Rode, this is a direct TRS adapter. So if you plug it into your phone, you lose the ability to monitor uh, from your phone. Not that you may have to, but with this option, you, you can. Um, it's got a small port here uh, to fit something like your earbuds. And so you can monitor audio while you're recording with your iPhone. Um, so this is very handy to keep in your bag if you have an iPhone because you can always use your iPhone as a recorder. All right, so um, if you need to run this lab microphone or any of these lab microphones, if you need to run this directly to your camera so you don't have to sync in post, what you could do is get one of these extension cables. Um, I forget how long this is, maybe 10 or 12 feet. And uh, this will allow you to connect directly to the camera. So I could run this right over to the camera plug in my lab mic to me, and then I can do this whole presentation without syncing in post. But if you guys are curious about the sound of these microphones, I'm actually using the Aspen stereo right now with a Zoom H1, and I'm going to sync this up in post later. And uh, just for reference, let's cut back to the camera's audio right now. So right now you're listening to the camera's audio, and I don't know how loud this is, but you may hear a lot of echo, a lot of space, and um, that's one reason why you want to have kind of a good lab microphone with your talent. You can use shotgun microphones, but um, often if the shotgun microphone's pointed in a certain orientation, if I was to move away or turn my head away from the shotgun microphone, um, then that would uh, reduce the volume. So you get fluctuations in your volume with a lab mic. As, you're moving, as the subject is moving either to their left or to their right or looking around, um, the audio is going to sound way more consistent than something like a shotgun. That's a little bit more sensitive uh, if it's very directional and it doesn't cover up as much of the space of the echo and the reverb. Um, anyways, getting back to what we were talking about, these Aspen uh, microphones, 
Um, that's it. These uh, Aspen Lab microphones are starting at, um, I think around $55 or something like that. So it's kind of middle end, not quite cheap down to the $30, not quite up to the $90, but um, I think about $55 or so. Uh, currently on sale though. So I think you can get them for about $40 even cheaper if you buy them in bundles. Um, and I suggest everyone carry at least two to three lab microphones in their kit because you never know when you're going to uh, have a situation where you're recording multiple people. And like me, I actually have four of these Zoom H1s because they rock. They, uh, they have been very helpful for a lot of things that I do where it could be otherwise impossible to own several wireless kits because that could be very expensive. So. This is our very inexpensive uh, way of capturing good audio. And now with these Aspen mics, you can afford to get several microphones that sound good. Um, and that also work with your iPhone as a portable recorder as well. So anyways, uh, for more information about this stuff, check it out, aspenmics.com. If you have any questions, go ahead and look back at some of my old videos over the last several weeks. You'll notice that I am wearing uh, these mics, so they sound pretty good. I've been using them out in the field as much as I can. Um, sometimes I get lazy and I don't have any audio and that sucks. Don't watch those videos, but the ones that have audio, I mean, these mics have been working uh, really, really well. Um, hopefully that uh, helps you guys out, shows you some uh, affordable microphones for your kits. If you have any questions, check out the blog, cheesycam.com.